this isn't good. According to our readings, over half the colony has been overrun by the Klingons. At the rate they're moving, this area will fall in less than an hour. Right. Lead the way, Captain. I've got your... Lay the gate closed! We have to get out of here! And leave the others to die? Starfleet's here! Oh, thank goodness. Thanks. We didn't think anyone got our distress signal. Glad that's not true. We were about to surrender. We didn't have any weapons. We do have some spare armor suits for you and your officers, though. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Chief Smythe and some of the others are still in there. I know it's asking a lot, but if you can, please, save them. Here are the codes to the gate. You have to save the Chief and the others. Be careful. There's a lot of Klingons down there. Starfleet can't help you now! Please, stop! up here, Captain. No sign of Zoroba or Ticonderoga.
stay back. I'm warning you. Hang on. You're Starfleet. Excellent. You were the one who contacted us, yeah? I'm glad you're here. Yes, I'm sure you can guess we're uh, all a little on edge. If it wasn't for Fletcher visiting family here, I'd have eaten a disruptor place by now. Not to be critical, but uh, where are the rest of you? Oh, that, that's not good. We're in big trouble. These Klingons mean business. They've locked us out of the mine. Probably down there robbing us blind while we speak. No way we can beam anyone down to stop them. And they've probably killed all our security there by now. Glad to hear it. We're definitely going to need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. short-term solution, but it could be what we need to keep the Klingons from getting any more of their troops down there. I know, right? Well, first things first. I'm reading a device at the base of the mine entrance. If you can set up a jumper between it and the main command console, you'll be able to reroute the field's power flow. That'll open up the mine for you and set up things for my plan. work. Perfect timing, too. I can hear the Klingons coming. We're about to have some really unpleasant company. Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll, I'll get the job done. Just keep them off me, okay? Right. Here they come. Let them have it! Okay. I need you to pull the action, invert it, and jam it back in. Trust me. Okay, it's in there. I think I got it. Now manually cycle the power while forcing a short jumper. Oh, and don't electrocute yourself. Uh, please. you got ships are getting closer. The faster you can finish up down there, the better. You got it. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this place. 
face without a fight. Oh, and uh, sorry about that whole phaser in the face thing earlier. Won't happen again. Klingons worry about me, not the other way around. Let's go.
Captain, the colony's security field is holding strong. There's still a lot of Klingon ships heading our way, though. We need to leave, and soon. But Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite as we leave the system. Which we should. Soon. <laughs> Captain Shaver would be proud of you and your crew, Captain. Your efforts to defend the Federation are commendable, and my report will indicate this. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. We've done all we can, Captain. Let's get to safety while we still can.
after everything we went through out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. I mean, what's string theory compared to dodging Klingon disruptor blasts or trying to keep a warp core stable? Speaking of scary, think Admiral Kensington's gonna go easy on you? The ship did kind of get beat up. A little. Uh, okay, a lot. The Admiral's office is this way. Thanks for coming. You've been through a lot. Starfleet Command appreciates your efforts, especially at the Corbin system. I do as well. I've read the official reports, but I'd like to hear your take on it all, in your own words. Neither do I, unfortunately. Well then, based on what I'm seeing here, you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs now. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her center chair. The job's yours if you want it. Yes, under normal circumstances, it would take years of work to get your own command. But these aren't normal circumstances. The war isn't going well for us. We don't have the luxury of waiting years before putting good officers on the line. We need them out there right now. We need you. Yes, Corvin would have been a disaster if it weren't for you and your crew. Starfleet wants to recognize that. Therefore, as of now, I'm making your promotion and command official. I see the same things in you that Schaefer did. Honor his name and make us all proud. I wouldn't recommend it. I have it on good authority. I'm quite a terror when crossed. On to more mundane duties, hmm? You'll need to check in with the tailor and update your uniform in a manner appropriate to your new rank. After that, acquire a shuttle for your ship. When you're finished, return to me for new orders. Well, you don't look unhappy. And that's good, right? Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objective. The various shops are in the main campus building. This way. This way.
The shipyard officer is this way. Congratulations on your promotion. I will let you know when I have a new task for you. I have a mission for you. I have a mission for you. I want you at Pryor's World as soon as you're able. I don't have anything for you right now. You survived! Then again, you survive fighting House Mokai. Admiral Kensington must have been a walk in the park for you. I guess this is goodbye, at least for now. You've got a ship and a crew to take care of, and I, well, I still have to graduate. Hey, do you think they'll use your ship for the cadet crews next year? If they do, put in a good word for me. Ah, great. <laughs> hey, I liked being your chief engineer out there. Uh, it would be an honor to do that again, Captain. Oh man, this is hard. Uh, stay safe, okay? This war won't last forever. And I hope we're both doing what Starfleet does best soon. Exploring the galaxy, strange new worlds, all that. Sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. 